Behind every Proton car is a story of meticulous care and precision. We take great pride in making sure every Proton is built to meet the highest standards before it is put together. Which is why we take it upon ourselves to manufacture the key components for all our car's engines and chassis. And where does it all happen? The Proton Casting Plant. 23.5 acres of state-of-the-art technology. Committed to productivity and efficiency through environmental friendly practices. The casting process involves all manufacturing of the mentioned components. It starts at the sand preparation tower, where green sand is produced. Despite its black appearance from coal dust, the term green sand signifies the addition of water in the sand. Bonded with compounds such as silica, clay, household cornstarch and other additives, the prepared green sand is sent to the molding line to create precise, high-definition molds. Using a rapid airflow and squeeze process, the mold is compressed with large amounts of force, making them dense and durable. At the core-making line, a more complex process unfolds. Cylinder blocks require two molds. One makes up the top half and the other the bottom half. Fitted between them is the core. The mold determines the outer contours of the casting, while the core creates the inner cavities of the cylinder block. At the molding line, the core is set on the bottom half of the mold with a core setter, shortly joined by the top mold, which is carefully positioned, shut tight, and ready for the next step, where things start to heat up. Furnaces melt scrap metal charged with other additives to precisely 1,500 degrees Celsius. To maintain the quality of molten metal used, frequent samples are taken and tested using a spectrometer chemical analysis at our lab. Once given the OK, molten metal is then poured into a one-ton ladle and transferred. Impurities in the metal, commonly known as slag, are constantly removed. And the metal, kept at 1,420 degrees Celsius, the minimum temperature to pour into the mold. After 80 minutes of cooling, top mold is removed. A manipulator picks up the hot casting, now revealing the two cylinder blocks. The molds, having completed their role in the casting process, are sent back to the sand preparation tower to be reused as green sand. Cylinder blocks are moved to hangars, where they're cooled for two hours before reaching the finishing line. Soon, lumps of sand and excess metals called burr begins to form. The raw fettling process now comes into play. Removing them by hand helps ensure the integrity of every cylinder block before they are sent for automated grinding. Robotic technology is used to once again remove excess sand and burr, this time from within the cylinder block's cavities. The block, now 100% free of excesses, are then shot blasted and inspected for any possible defects. Before being painted, and delivered. The casting of crankshafts, bearing caps and smaller engine parts, however, differs slightly from the process you've seen. They do not require cores. Top and bottom molds suffice. Once casting is complete, parts are cooled in a large cylindrical cooler called the tumbling machine, which also removes excess sand and burr as they cool. Once cooled, parts are again shot blasted, inspected, and finally dispatched with the cylinder blocks to Proton's engine and transmission factory. To ultimately create the driving experience you enjoy today and well into the future. <laughs>